of the ACC. And uh, some were great scorers, some were great passers. And to be just mentioned as the same breath as them, it, uh, it means a lot. But at the same time, I'm hum humbled by it. And I realize that those players went on to do greater things. So I want to be able to do that as well. Have you talked to, did you talk to Craig Neal at any point leading up to this? I have Kenny, you've been tracking this record for, for all season. So now that you've got it, what, what number do you focus on now? Do you, do you add 50 to it and say, I want to try to get that? Uh, it's funny, I did say 50. But um, at the same time, I just want to make sure it's not broken. And uh, I hear players talk all the time about when their record's broken and how proud they are. Honestly, I think I'm going to be a little mad if somebody ever breaks my <laughs> Talk about some of the passes you make. Like Tyler was saying, sometimes it's like it's going through like three arms over another guy. Other guys won't even attempt to throw something past. <laughs> where, uh, where did you sort of get that daring? You know, it, it's a blessing and a curse. Uh, as well as I, you know, did get, I think, 12 assists today and had six turnovers. So some of those chances that I take, they don't always work out. And uh, Coach hates it. But uh, at the same time, like I said, I think it's a blessing and a curse. And my teammates trust me that if they get out of run, I'm going to find a way to end John, when he came back in after the injury, uh, Pass pretty hard this direction, and he kind of grimaced. Was it, was it almost intentional? Like, hey, all right, John, let's test it out. Not at all. No, all my passes are pretty much hard. Okay. And, um, you know, right when I let it go, I realized, I was like, God, that's John. You know, he just got hurt. What am I doing? And uh, you can see it right away. And uh, I just have to be smart in those situations. You know, a player like John, you know, uh, going through a recession at that time, I can't put him in a position where he can hurt himself. Can you talk about your scoring? You've been very efficient in your shooting and very timely in your scoring now too here recently. I'm just trying to take advantage of what the defense is giving me. You know, uh, Maryland made it very clear very early in the game that they were going to double off me into the post every time our post players had to run. So uh, I just want to be able to keep them honest and uh, maybe pull them out so it's easier for Z, John, and that could be more down the road. This team looks extremely confident now. I guess they've been working on it. I think it's a big one. Do you feel that way the whole team? Uh, I think we are. We um, early in the season we thought we were good, and it came back to bite us in the butt, and we weren't as good as we thought we were. Now we think we're good, but we know how good we are. And we still have things that we can get better at. So we're just out there playing as hard as we can. Uh, we're not getting happy with leads. I think we're learning how to finish off teams, and I think that's great for us. Yeah, is, was it more mental than this league that you're just knowing each other better now? Is that what you're saying? It's it's a combination of things. Like I said, one thing is finishing off teams. That's something that you have to learn how to do. Um, another thing is defensively. I think we've got tremendous. You know, we have the 26 points in the first half. I think Stoke only had 30, but you know he worked for those 30 points. And, uh, those are shots that his teammates are getting. And, um, I'm good. Uh, I think that that's the two big steps that we've taken in the past three or four weeks that's uh, going to lead us to being a better team.